Hi, I'm Betty. Hey, Betty. Um, welcome to Miami. Uh, Thank I'm, you. I'm a huge fan of the 100, but I can never decide if I like Clark more with Bellamy or Lexa. That's a, yeah, um, a lot of people <laughs> are going through that same struggle. I have two um, small questions for you. One, who do you think she'll end up with if she ends up with either? And who would you prefer her to be with if you were her? You know what? I, I think like the whole shipping thing, it's hard to say. Like, I, I love what uh, Lexa and Clark has done for. Um, I don't know, like the LGBT community, I think that's amazing. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously Bellamy and Clark are, are pretty tight. So it's, you know, it's hard to say. They're so different. But uh, I love both of their relationships and um, I can't wait to start working on them again in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so much. Thank you. Hi. Hello. I'm Amanda. Hi. Um, I'm really nervous. Uh, I wanted to know what is one of the funniest moments you've had on set? One of the funniest moments we had on set was um, me and Bob trying to do, say, Unity Day. Um, there was this thing, I think it was like season one, I think it was like episode eight or something, it was like Unity Day, and we couldn't say it in the American accent. <laughs> And um, there are like many, many outtakes of us being like, Unity D. <laughs> like, it was so dumb. <laughs> so that would be one of the funniest moments, I would say. Thank you. Hope no, you have fun in Miami. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caleb. Hello. Uh, I was wondering if you were one of the 100, what would you do once you landed on Earth? I would hide behind a rock. <laughs> um, and then just like hope not to die. I am not Clark by any means. She is a lot braver than I am. Okay, thank uh, you. No worries. <laughs> hey, oh. it's my Lexa. Hello again. Um, if you could be anyone besides Clark, which character would you choose? Oh. You know what? I'd love to be Monty. <laughs> I love Monty. And I'll dress up like Jasper for you. That would be great. <laughs> I think Monty and Jasper should get together. That's like, I, I reckon that'd be really cool. Yeah, we'll see. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, my name is Dominic. And was it awkward doing the sex scene in FF season Ooh. one? Um, yeah, obviously. <laughs> sex scenes are really awkward. Um, yes, it was terribly awkward. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Eliza. Hello. Um, in the episode where you and Lexa are being chased by the gorilla, what's it like to work with CGI? With? Like CGI? Oh, like it's hilarious. It's like, you seriously have like, <laughs> um, a director going, no, the gorilla is jumping up and he's going over here. And he's like, it's just so silly. And you're like, oh, like trying to act scared, but it's just, it's so funny to like, Act That's out. my favorite episode, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that we did a good job. All right, thank you. <laughs> thanks. Hi, thanks for being here. My thank name's you. Ma my name's Maddie. Hi, hey, Maddie. Um, I'm wondering, how does it compare filming an Australian television show versus an American television show? I would say that being like on an uh, American television show is just so much... It's on a much bigger scale. It's like there are many more people involved. The sets are bigger. Everything's bigger, you know. And um, in Australia, it's kind of like kind of dinky and fun. And, you know, it's not really as like full on. So I was definitely surprised on my first day on The 100 as it was my first Australian show, uh, American show, sorry, um, that I, uh, I, was, I was just blown away by how big it was. It was crazy. Thank you. You're no awesome. Worries. And Thank like you. super beautiful. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Hi, Eliza. Hello. I'm Jasmine, and I would just want to know if you could bring any character back, which one would you bring back? Cool. That's a good question. Um, who would I bring back? How many people have we killed again? Quite a bit. Uh, yeah, a few. I All would right. recommend Anya. 
I loved Anya, and I actually worked with D Chen on uh, Neighbours, which is an Australian show, when I was like 14. So I've known her a long time. That's a good suggestion. I'm going to go with that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hi. Um, I have two questions. Okay. Uh, the first question is, what was the hardest scene for you to film? Emotionally or just physically? Um, no, I can definitely answer that. I, I think the hardest uh, scene for me to film was when I had to kill um, the grounder who had me captured in, I think it was episode 11, um, in the bank vault. Uh, and he, I, he like starts opening up to me and then I slash his throat and like suffocate him because that's cool um, <laughs> um, it was it was really it, we had to shoot that for like four hours and it was four hours of watching a guy die like it was really tough and it, um, uh, it I, I went home feeling a little like must get clean <laughs> that day I, yeah uh, my second question is um, what's the best part about filming the hundred um, I, I would have to say, like, the crew that I work with are, they're the best crew I've ever worked with in my life. Cast as well. Um, I feel at home on that set. I'm, I'm very lucky to be there, so. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Hello. What was it like working with all the cast that you worked with? Was there any tension or pressure? A lot of tension. Bob Molly over there. Ugh. I hate that guy. <laughs> um, like no, it's a, everyone, there, there's a lot of pressure. It's it's a pretty serious show. Um, but w w through all that, the kind of like craziness that we shoot, I think we managed to laugh a lot together, and uh, it makes me very happy. <laughs> um, so yeah, it gets hard, but it's. Um, We've got a good dynamic going on. Hi, well, yeah. Welcome to Miami. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So yesterday, Bob said that he felt, uh, well, he felt that Bellamy had a lot of resentment for Clark when she left. So how do you think Clark was feeling when she decided to leave at the end of season three? I don't think she was feeling. I feel like Clark at the at the end of the season was completely and utterly broken and that there was no consideration for anyone else's feelings, which Bellamy knew and that's why he, he should feel resentment because it was a very selfish move, you know. She's not being the leader that she said she would be. She's just taken off and God knows where she is now, you know, so. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, um, so I'm back. Um. Get a little closer Hello. to the mic. All you right. can move it up. Okay, um, so we all know you can do a really good American accent, but can you do any other accents? No. <laughs> I've, have you seen my vines? No. I love your vines. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I try. Let's try some. I've been working yes. on... Oh, God. I've been, I've been working on my, like, Gla Glasgow. No, I can't do it. <laughs> like, uh... What was my one? Oh, I did a vine of it the other day. I'm from Liverpool. <laughs> but I don't sound like I'm from Liverpool, so it's kind of, it's tragic. I can do British, sort of. No, I can't. Nothing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Thank you, and I love your vine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, hey, I got a question. Um, have you ever cried watching one of your own scenes? Yes. I have. And do you know which scene that is? Nope. It was um, when I killed Finn. It was so tragic. I was like, I was there. I know it's not real. This Why is stupid. Why would you do it? I, I had to. You're a bad person. I had to do it. All right, guy. Look. <laughs> Shame. I know. All right. Well, what can I say? She felt bad about it. Hello. I did. Hi. How are you doing? I'm very well. I just want to know, do you like working on the, on, the, on the show? Do you enjoy doing the action scenes? How do you like that? I'm not very good at, like, moving. 
exercising. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do. However, when I get to do stunts on the show, I actually really enjoy it. Like, I've learned how to do so many things doing this. I've learned how to shoot a gun, uh, ride a horse, um, fight a, a, a grounder. <laughs> um, it's, it's been amazing, so, awesome. yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hello. I was wondering if you can answer the next question in an American accent. All right. All right. Uh. Let's do it. I am so excited. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, I'm Candace. <laughs> sorry if you already. <laughs> sorry if you already been asked this, but if you were to no. cosplay any character, who would it be? What was that? If you were to cosplay any character, who would it be? Oh, that's such a good question. I would say Sailor Moon, because <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Thank awesome. you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Um, so, after, in the Unity Day episode, like, you see Clark, you know, doing a bunch of drinking games. So, like, there's this pretty big headcanon in the fandom that C Clark was a pretty big party girl. Up really? In, up in the arc. So okay. So, how do you feel about that? Um, I love that. That's a great idea. Because um, I... Don't mind a drink. Um, <laughs> so that would uh, bring me closer to Clark in a way. I like it. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Um, Hello. Uh, I guess I just have a question about uh, where do you mostly want to see Clark in the next upcoming season? What would excite you about playing her? Good question. Um, I, I'm kind of excited for her to get darker, if it's possible, <laughs> to like see her go kind of crazy by herself, you know? Like she's out in the woods. Um, she's been out there for a while, I think, when we pick up the season, mm -hmm. season three. So I'm hoping that she's like kind of lost it. I would love that, you know, like crazy Clark. She's already gotten like pretty bad, but let's let's get weird, guys, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Hello. Um so obviously Clark's made a lot of selfish decisions sometimes on the show. Well, I mean, you know, leaving at the end and letting everyone die at camp. That was that was rude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, Alexa, she obviously made a very selfish decision at the end of the season. Do you think Clark could forgive her since she's, you know, kind of made some selfish decisions of her own? I think Clark's a very forgiving person. I think that she would definitely do that. Um, I think it would take some time, it would take some work, but uh, if Clark and Alexa are reunited, I mean, I, I hope that Alicia's coming back for season three, because I, I really think that would be a fascinating arc in the story. Um, but yeah, I, I think she'd forgive her after like being really mean. And who are you the closest Stabbing with? Stabbing her, like, maybe. It's my thing. What? <laughs> who are you like the closest with on set, like behind the scenes? That's a good question. We're all pretty tight, um, but I would say probably like Bob, definitely, um, uh, Marie, Devin, those guys, they're pretty awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. When you first read the script, um, who did you feel the closest to and did you identify yourself within your character? I felt the closest to Kane. It's not true. Um, I, <laughs> obviously, I, um, I think I felt the closest to pa uh, Paige, who uh, plays Abby, my mum. She definitely, uh, I mean, we had to do all our first, like, ever scenes on the show, on the pilot together, and um, I think Clark was, uh, yeah, definitely closest to her when it all kicked off, yeah. Great, thank you. No worries, thank you. Hi. Hello. Um, do you think there's any hope for Bellamy and Clark? Oh my god. 
<laughs> um, I, I do, but I, I do, but uh, I mean, I don't know. Like our uh, our writers pretty keen on like <laughs> keeping them apart, judging by season yeah. two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. Hi, Alexa. Hello. Um, my question is, uh, have you read the book series? I read half of the first one. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm not saying that the books are bad or anything. I actually, I think they're amazing. It's just that they're so different to, to what we're making that I got halfway through the first one. I was like, this is really confusing for me, like playing the lead character. So I decided to... Um, to cut it off and just do my own thing with Clark because there's a lot of conflicting sort of storylines and, you know. Yeah, they're kind of like, they're two complete different stories. They are, both, which I love. I, I think it's great that there's like a book series that explores one angle and a TV show that explores the other. I mean, how often do you get that? It's awesome. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello again. Um, why, hello. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm like... Helloing everyone. <laughs> I'm not flirting. It's weird. All right, oh, hi. Okay. I was wondering, you know, since Clark technically killed Finn, if like if you'll ever see the day where like Raven actually forgives Clark. Yeah, I don't know. Me and Lindsay have been really weird since the whole thing happened. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. Um, I I definitely think there's room for that. I think that'll happen. I mean, you know, two people who are forced to work together. Yeah, sure, I killed your boyfriend. Blah. Um, sorry. Um, they they will they will eventually see eye to eye again. I think she knows deep down why Clark had to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, hi. Um, my Hello. question. Yeah. My question is if there are any like romances like actually going on like behind the scenes oh yeah oh my god guys there's so many it's crazy no <laughs> oh that's not <laughs> sorry hi. hi um my question is if you can say hi to my snapchat hi snapchat <laughs> Thank you. Is that good? All right, cool. <laughs> oh, can you guys say hi to mine? Would that be all right? All right, cool. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me get this going. Sorry. I'm not very... I'm technologically challenged. Um, all right, here we go. Snapchat. Oh, let's do this. All right. Say hello, Supercall. Yeah. All right, that was great. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that works. Brilliant. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I actually have two. Is that a right or do I just Go ask Go for one? it. Go right. for it. My first question is, do you have any hopes for Clark and Octavia being friends again? Yes, right. I do. And my second one is actually a little personal. What would be your actually favorite episode of The 100? Um, my favorite... Uh, I, I love seven of episode, oh, of, sorry, season one, um, which was the bottle episode where we were all trapped in the, in the dropship. And I love episode 10 where we all come down with like the scary blood thing. Um, <laughs> I thought that was, it was really cool. Like our um, makeup and hair and special effects worked so hard on that episode and it was so much fun to shoot. And, um, you know, we all got to vomit blood. Who doesn't love that? So <laughs> it was great. Right, thank you, Eliza. <laughs> no worries. Hi. Um, since you brought up your Snapchat, could we have your Snapchat, or is it a personal account? It is a personal account. All right, cool. Um, but I do tend to load a lot of them up on Instagram and, okay. uh, and Vine and stuff. So Cool. And then um, that. my main question was, what was it like filming the episode where everyone pretty much got high or something? Oh, the trippin' episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was that? I was like, yeah, we were all eating, like, nuts and, like, hallucinogenic. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. We had to do a lot of weird stuff. Me and Bellamy, like, I'm trying to shoot a gun, and then, you know, I pointed at myself and nearly die. It was really great. 
And Devin and Chris, I think, were the funniest in that episode. It was awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Um, if you could choose two people to ship, who would they be? Monty and Jasper. For sure. All right. <laughs> Hello, I was just wondering what your favorite scene or line was. That's, uh, that's really hard. I should have like prepared things like this for this occasion. Um, favorite, favorite line, I think I, I had to at one point um, give someone resuscitation. And if, you know, if as an actor, you always want to do like those classic like lines, like, um, I'm out of order, you're out of order, this all, you know, that sort of like, <laughs> or like, um, like, uh, I, and with, with um, Anya, I had to like be trying to stop the blood and I was like, stay with me, stay with me, come on, come back to life. And I just thought that was like a classic doctor line that like not many people get to do. I was like really excited about it. So stay with me. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, um, my best friend couldn't be here today. Can you say hi to her? Her hi. name's Fanny. Hi, best friend named Fanny. Fanny, what's thank going you. on? She loves you, that's why. Yay, thank you. <laughs> hi, my name's Christina. Hello, great outfit. Thank you. Uh, first question is, what was the worst death on the show for you? And could you say hi to my friend Jade? Yes, and okay. yes. Okay, can I record worst. first? Oh yeah, you can record first. <laughs> Whatever right. you gotta do. Hold on. All right, thank you. Hello. <laughs> can you say hi to her, Jade? Hi, Jade? Yeah. Hi, Jade. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Um, the worst death was probably, I mean, killing Adam was horrible. He was all blistered and stuff, and I had to stick a knife right in his throat, so. That was pretty gross. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> what was the best death? Like, what the one were you death? really into? Oh, well, I got to kill like 300 people in Malweather, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> just by doing this. That's all I had to do. Like, just meh, <laughs> done. So that was easy. I didn't have to look at them. <laughs> face to face is yeah. hard for you. Face to face is really difficult. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> at what point do you think, if you think, Clark lost her humanity? Like, at what point did she lose her humanity? Definitely at the, um, when she killed everyone in Mount Weather, I think. Like, up until then, she could handle it, but that just, I mean, killing children, um, parents, you know, like, that, that was horrible. She don't think she, like, probably it before like when she killed the the sniper guy she struggled with that but she had no problem that's, killing the president of Mount Weather that's a good point oh god I hated killing Ray <laughs> he was awesome I loved working with him um, yeah no I yeah she definitely she was losing it with those kills but I think um, I think when she pulled that lever she kind of died a little bit inside <laughs> that was it okay. yeah. thank you thank you <laughs> Hi, hi. <laughs> nice, Christian. Christian. Yeah, can you say hi to Shana, please? Hi, Shana. What's going on? Uh, thanks. <laughs> we'll just get a line of going up here. Oh, just yeah, say yeah, hi yeah. to everybody. <laughs> Every name will go through right, the whole dictionary. Cool. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Lexa. Actually, Sabrina, but OK. That's um, fine. <laughs> I have two questions. If you had a movie made of your life, who, which actor, I mean actress, would you choose to play you? I would play Penny Lane from Almost Famous. And this is a oh, real- Oh, is that like a character or an actress? Whatever you want. Oh, uh, okay, because that was a character. <laughs> this is like an important question near and dear to my heart. Okay. Waffles or pancakes? <laughs> oh God, I'm scared I'm gonna say the wrong one. I have to say pancakes? Is that all right? All right, cool. Are you okay with that? No, you're not, are you? Oh God, I've lost a fan. I've lost one. <laughs> Bring it back. Um, and can you say hi to my best friend, Helian? Yes, I can. 
Never mind, my phone just froze. Oh no! <laughs> hey, how about I'll do a vine for Hellyann. Okay. Yeah? Does she is she on vine? Yeah. I wanted to vine this anyway, so this is a good opportunity. All right, how do I do this? I'm gonna I'm gonna come out here. All right. There you go. All right, so I'm going to shoot you. You ready? Okay, so it doesn't matter. What's up, Pellyanne? <laughs> that was strong. This is strong Vine game right here. Okay. All right, I'm going to flip it around. We're going to do me. Pellyanne, you. Yeah. What? <laughs> and then we should just get a little bit of the crowd. Ready? Woo! Done deal. <laughs> Going above and beyond. I love it. All right. I am posting that right now. Share post. Done. She's going to be a happy girl, I think. All right. Next Hi. Question. Hi. Okay. I know you said you start shooting season three soon. Yes. Is there anything you can tell us? I don't know. Just uh, something little. <laughs> um, I can, I don't know. Um, I can tell you that we're, go we're going a lot more sci-fi, which is really cool. Um, we're definitely delving into that world a lot more this season, which, uh, which means, you know, I get to keep all you guys <laughs> as fans. Um, and then, uh, I mean, for my character, she's, she's getting weird. She's getting real weird in the forest by herself. So that's, <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Kaylin. Hey, Hello. Kaylin. I think you saw me already, yeah. 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 I wanted to know what scene would you love to shoot again? Hmm. Was there something that when you saw it played back that you weren't happy with how it went, or? It's a very good question you pose, Kaylin. <laughs> um, oh, my Vine just got 10 reposts, guys. So. It's exciting. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, what would I reshoot? I don't know. I think that, like, I kind of love everything we've shot. I, I'm really happy with it. Sometimes it didn't go to plan, for sure, but it kind of turned out for the best anyway. Um, but just for, like, uh, my own personal enjoyment, I would love to do the scene where I jump off the... Um, out of the tunnel into yeah. the water with uh, Anya yeah. because I got to be on wires and I felt like a badass. It was like really cool. Yeah. So that, that would be one. <laughs> Is there a scene that you wouldn't want to do again? That I wouldn't want to do again? Yeah. Like... Oh, plenty. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ones where I like shoot people, slash people with a knife. I'm, I'm good with those, I'm done. Like, I'm happy to not do those again. They're very emotionally, like, charged. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, I what would like are to... you? Cyrus and Samus. Fantastic, I love it. Thank you. Um, I would like to know who your celebrity crush is. <laughs> Um, I mean, apart from me, <laughs> no, that's a terrible, I don't, that's, no. Um, you say someone you haven't met and you've seen in movies and stuff. Oh, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> we won't tell. It'll oh, stay right okay, in this cool. room. Yeah, can, can we, Nobody can will ever let anybody us. know. Awesome. That's great. Um... I have, a, I have a big crush on Channing Tatum. <laughs> I do. He's hot. He's really hot. I think everybody does. But his <laughs> wife's so nice. I met them the other day, and I was like, 
God damn it. You have a baby. Like, I can't hit on you. What Thank am I you. doing here? No worries. Uh, um, so, my fourth time up here. Um, it is. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Mega fan. <laughs> yes. So, um, if you had any advice to give aspiring actors, what would it be? Um, I would just say, keep going. It's fucking hard. Sorry. <laughs> it's really hard. Um, I mean, I spent three years before I got the 100 waiting on tables. Uh, I had four jobs. I was waiting on tables. I was uh, making coffee. Um, and I was working at a nightclub serving drinks. And I was also teaching drama. And, and I was auditioning my butt off to, to get a role, to save enough money to come to LA. And, and uh, I never lost faith in the fact that I was going to get here in front of you guys. And, and I, I have. I'm, so grateful. But yeah, I would just say work, save, and um, don't lose faith. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> Woo. Hey, Eliza. Hello. Um, I'm, my name's Paula. Hi. Uh, my question is like, what is your favorite part about coming to these events like this? It's you guys, for sure. Like, no doubt. I'm, yeah, <laughs> no, really. I'm just like, you keep us um, working. <laughs> you are the reason that we still have a job, that we're going into season three. And to meet you guys, to talk to you, makes me really happy. It sounds like bullshit, but it's true. <laughs> All right, thank you. Hi. Um, Hi. If you could bring any character back to life, who would you bring back? Um, Ooh, who would I bring back? Who would you bring back? I think she asked you the question. Don't. No, I know. I don't try like, to put I'm, it off. I know. Me. I'm sorry. Don't. All right. Um, I would. I'd probably bring back. Anya. Yeah. And Adam. Yeah. Thank Those you. two. No worries. Hi. Hello. Two questions. Okay. Are you working on any projects apart from the 100? I am not. I want to be. Um, I would so love to. So if there to... are any scripts out there, send them yeah, my way. Yeah, just send them my way. Uh, let's do it. Um, no, I, I, would, I think next hiatus I'm going to um, stay in L.A., try to um, do a movie. Um, I just, as much as I love Clark, I really want to explore other characters and get into film. Um, so that's what I hope to be doing. Okay, second question. Okay. Did you have to learn any skills in order to film certain action scenes in the 100? Yeah. <laughs> um, I had to learn how to ride a horse. I was terrified of horses, by the way. They scare me. They're very large. Um, but I, um, but I, uh, I had to learn to ride one, and it was kind of awesome, actually. Um, and now I love it. And uh, shooting guns as well, which is crazy. I never thought I would hold one or shoot one, let alone like at someone. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Daniel. And Hello, Daniel. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, my question is, um, what do you think the theme or the focus of the show, The 100, is? Uh, in like overall? Overall or um, in, you know, season by season, what, what the theme is? Um, that's a good question. I think season, well, I think it's about humanity. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, of all walks of life, like it's just, it's about surviving. I think season one especially was about something that people do think about all the time, which is, a, a, you know, what would happen in the event of, of an apocalypse and how people would deal with that. Um, so that was definitely... And then season two, I think, was just about, like, choices and how we... You know, the, the difference between right and wrong, the lines that are crossed, the, you know, all of that jazz. Does that... doesn't really... 
Makes uh, sense, does it? I think it's a pretty good answer. All right, Thank cool. You. Humanity. Let's just leave it at humanity. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. Hi again. I just want to know what it was like working on the movie no the November Man. Because I remember you had a scene in that movie. <laughs> oh, you remember my scene in that movie, yes. Um, yeah, it was awkward as hell. <laughs> I, uh, I had, I had a, a pretty raunchy scene in that, so it was kind of scary taking my clothes off. But um, I did the best I could. I was proud of myself for not like having a panic attack during Did you like it. working with Pierce Brosnan? I love Pierce. He's such an amazing man. He's actually like one of the loveliest actors I've ever worked with. For someone who's had such a huge career, like I'm very impressed by how humble and wonderful he is. He's funny as hell too. Thank you. No worries. Hey, Ms. Jarissa again. Hello. <laughs> I have two questions. Okay. Um, the first one would be for season three, what do you expect uh, from uh, Clark's character? Like, what do you want from her? Um, I want her to like get weird. I don't know. I want to like mix things up. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> um, apart from that, I don't know. I, I wanted to find her people again and, and reconnect and continue to protect them because I feel like a lot of fans are going to, I hope they don't, but I, I don't like, I hope they don't lose faith in, in her because she's made a very selfish choice, you know. So, I hope she comes back and kicks ass. <laughs> but it gets weird first. Just a little bit. Just weird. She's in the woods by herself. Like, I want to see her get kind of like... Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And my second question, can you say hi to my friend Jordan real quick? Yes. <laughs> hey, Jordan, what's up? I'm a really good singer. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> hi, my name is Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I have two questions. What is your favorite animal and what's your favorite color? My favorite animal is the dolphin. I, when I was younger, I had like, I adopted a dolphin when I was 11. I saved all my money and, um, and adopted a dolphin for like two years. Um, and uh, everything in my bedroom was dolphin. My uh, duvet cover, my pillows, my like, I had like a lantern that had dolphins on it, like everything. It was stupid, like a bean bag that shaped like a dolphin. <laughs> so that's that. And then color? Yeah. I love red. Ah, oh, nice. Like my like favorite blood. singer. No, sorry. Um, your favorite singer? Yes. Who's that? Taylor Swift. Oh, I love Taylor. Oh, we, yeah. have, we share a name. Not Taylor Swift first sing along. One, last name, but yeah. she has first, you have last. Exactly. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. If I married her, she'd be Taylor Taylor. <laughs> she'd be pretty cool. That's funny. It's, you know, I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping that, you know, maybe she sees this and we can get it on. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> okay, guys, we have five more minutes. So we're going to just run through these final questions up here. Hi, my name is Sarah again. Hello. Um, I have two questions. First, can you relate to um, with Clark? Like, are there certain aspects? I can, yeah, I can relate with Clark. I mean, I have to. Uh, I play her. She's a lot braver than me. I think, uh, you know, I get asked that question a lot. I mean, obviously, I'm not like an outdoorsy, action-y person in real life, mm -hmm. um, but I would say I like her resilience and uh, I can only apply that to like my career and I've, you know, gone through a lot to get to where I am and she has too, so in that way, yeah, okay. but okay. otherwise, no. <laughs> like, can you draw? Or? No, no, God, no. I, I oh, am right. terrible at drawing. <laughs> All right. Nope. And my second question, what's your favorite food? Like, your absolute favorite food? I think sushi. Sushi? I, fuck, I really love sushi. <laughs> so I've got to stop swearing on stage. How many kids do we have? Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I really like, love sushi. It's okay. My Thank you, and you're an amazing actor. I love you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. That's lovely. Thank you. Hi. 
Uh, if you could be an actor in one other show, who would it be? A, ca a character in one other show. Like me. I, l I love Orphan Black. That would be so sick. And she's an amazing actress, so I could never really like, pull that off. But can you imagine but... the hours of shooting you would have oh to do? Oh my god, so many. 24 hours a day yeah. she must shoot. Yeah, I'd love that though. That's my answer. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I love The 100 and I love Thank the sci-fi in The 100. Um, in season two versus season one, there were a lot more sets or scenes um, or like places than in season one. Should, uh, should we expect a lot more places in season three? Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more. I'm really excited. Oh, okay. We've got so many amazing sets being built. Um, awesome. You're gonna see some really cool stuff. All right, yeah. thanks. I no love worries. you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name is Ronald. Uh, I was wondering, do you play any other instruments besides guitar? I mean, I can play all of them, just really badly. <laughs> um, no, I, I only really play guitar, um, and I don't do that very well. Even I like, I know like six chords, but I love doing it, and um, I know that a lot of people want a new cover yes. mashup thing on YouTube, so I'm working on that right now. I'm gonna put that out there. Thank you. Thank you. All right, last question. All right, I have two super quick questions. Go. Um, one, first, uh, who would you want to work with like in a movie? Like, What's like that actor or actress you've always dreamed of working with? I, um, I've always said this like since I was maybe 12 or 13. Like, I'd love to work with uh, Guy Pearce. I think he's amazing. Um, uh, his work is just like, he's so transformative. And he's such a good character actor, so I'd love to work with Guy Pearce. And yeah. second, if you haven't, have you tried Cuban food? And if not, like, you no, should. No, I haven't. Should while I? You're, while you're in Miami, try Cuban food, for sure. Okay. I'll do it. Thank you. Thanks, thank, guys. Thank you, guys, for so <laughs> many great questions. Yeah. And I think we're actually going to do a picture right now. We're going okay. to have them come up. So everybody kind of stand up and crowd oh. around, and we're going to have Eliza come down here and get a picture all together. Okay, here Camera I go. Camera ready, faces on. Should I, just, should I just like sit here or something? All right, all right, Hi. crouch down. All right. Should I, what, this feels really weird. <laughs> this is weird. It looks right. good from this angle, you're fine. Yeah, should I like. <laughs> all right. I'm so ready. Oh, that's awesome, guys! Look at that. Can you show them a little bit? That's so good. We're all in there. Yes, you'll all be able to see it at floridasupercon.com. They'll get all the pictures all right, uploaded. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. <laughs> thank you, everybody.